Vans Warp Tour. In case you didn't know, it's kind of a big deal. It only comes once a year and it's very important to make the most of it. Like many people, this may be your first year at Warp Tour. The stress of not knowing what to bring and what to expect is totally normal. Now today, I'm going to present to you guys the ultimate guide for how to prepare for Warp Tour. Whether you're a newcomer or you're a Warp Tour veteran, I do have some information that could be pretty beneficial to your trip. We have quite a bit to cover, so let's start off with the things you need to have ready before the show. First and foremost, you need to pick one of the dates, which can be found on the Warp Tour website. I recommend going to the city that's closest to you, but feel free to travel. Warp Tour is a three-day event. Festivities start at 6 p.m. on the evening of the first day and carry on for the next two days. Because Warp Tour is overnight, it would be wise to bring tents, sleeping bags, and other camping equipment. Pets are allowed too. Aside from that, there's really nothing else you need to bring. Sunscreen? Forget about it. All the stages this year are set up in huge tents, so don't feel obligated to bring any sort of UV protection. Like years past, Warp Tour has designated workers that go around and hand out free water bottles to concert goers. So, don't worry about bringing your own water bottle, you'll be hydrated the whole time. As for food, Warp Tour offers free meals to first-time visitors, so be sure to pick up your meal voucher from the ticket booth. If you want to bring your own food, do so. It's totally allowed. Now let's talk about what to wear. Contrary to what many people say, Warp Tour is unseasonably cold. Your best bet would be to wear jeans, preferably black skinny jeans. If you're a girl, I highly recommend loose dresses. Leave the skater shoes at home. Flip-flops are the official shoe of Warp Tour, and you'll find that many people just go barefoot. Again, Warp Tour is freezing, so be sure to pack a hoodie or a thick jacket. Now that we've talked about how to prepare physically, let's talk about how to prepare mentally. When you first get there, you may have to wait in line for about an hour. Now during this time, people are going to come up to you and try to give you free things, except everything. All of this is stuff that you're totally going to keep and not throw away at the end of the day. Once you're inside, immediately purchase all of the band merch you were intending on buying that day. It's much better to have to carry around the merch the whole time than to risk it all being sold out by the end of the day. Another thing to expect from Warp Tour are different music genres. You could be an avid metalcore listener, but you may not be too familiar with traditional hardcore music. To prevent culture shock and to know exactly what these bands are like beforehand, check out my vocalist videos on YouTube. They're very realistic and not exaggerated in any sort of way. Now that you know what to expect, let's talk about the bands. Warp Tour is not about trying new music. The main reason why there are so many bands on the tour is so you can stay in the subgenre of music and not have to worry about branching out and being spontaneous. Also make sure that you know how to pronounce the names of the bands playing. I highly recommend watching my video, How to Pronounce Band Names, when you have the chance. While there are plenty of great bands playing at Warp, there are a few not so great bands that you should probably avoid if you can. The first of these is a band called The Devil Wears Prada. Every album they put out sounds exactly the same and they haven't progressed in the slightest. Stay away from Bayside. Their music is way too happy and it'll put a very uncomfortable smile on your face. Every Time I Die is really boring, honestly not even worth watching at all. Beartooth is awful. They're just a bunch of Attack Attack wannabes. I mean the vocalist literally sounds just like the guy from Attack Attack. It's not even subtle. Don't watch Amberlin, they're just some scene metal band. Stay clear of this band called Less Than Jake. Uh, it's their first year on Warp Tour, they just have a very immature sound. For Today is a no-go. They have virtually no bass, and they're not nearly Christian enough. Don't even think about going near issues. They get less and less relevant as time goes by, and they keep making all these stupid videos with stupid YouTubers. Other bands to avoid include The Ghost Inside of Mice and Men, The Story So Far, there's a huge list. The only band I do recommend seeing is Sunrise Skater Kids. Last but not least, in this Warp Prep video, I asked all of my followers if they had any specific questions about the tour. 
In this short Q&A, I'm going to answer as many as I can. How do you decide what band to see if two you like play at the same time? The thing about Warped Tour is that it's all on one stage. That's why it's three days. How will I know when the time has come for me to crowd surf? About ten minutes into each set, there's a designated person that comes on stage with a megaphone and tells everyone it's okay to crowd surf, and that's when you do it. Do you think Parkway Drive will play Boneyards? It's their most popular song, so no. What is the best way to find out where and when giveaways and signings are and what you need to get in them? Just find the musicians personally and ask them. They know everything about their schedules, get in their bus, undermine security, do whatever you have to do. How do I not die in the pits? Now it's very important to know how to mosh before you get to Warped Tour for your own protection. Watch my video How to Mosh and it will teach you exactly what moves you need to know. What merch should I wear? Wear the merch of the band you want to see. It's actually really cool and not lame to wear the shirt of the band you're wanting to see. How do meet and greets work? During a meet and greet, you shake the hand of the person you want to meet, get a picture, and then there's sort of an uncomfortable silence because you don't really know what to do next. While this gives you the chance to actually have a genuine, uh, once in a lifetime conversation, you should cop out and ask questions like, how's the tour going? When's the next album coming out? What does one need to do in order to avoid having items stolen from them? Now everybody at Warp Tour is really honest and really cool. When you go to the bathroom, you can actually take your bag off and leave it outside. You can actually take the items out and place them out on display uh, so people can see how important they are and they'll know, hey, that's important. Let's leave that there. Should I wear boxers or briefs when I go? Neither. Why has every Warped lineup been garbage since 2007? Now, I personally disagree with you on that one, but you could ask my friend Hitler. He doesn't seem very happy with it. What if your mom won't let you go? In that case, you just ask your dad. If you don't have a dad, it sucks for you. If you have another mom, if that's their thing, you can do that too, it's whatever. What is the most dangerous thing to be aware of at Warped? Flying mic stands. Well guys, that's all I have. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this comprehensive guide as to how to have fun at Warp Tour. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to check out my other videos. Share this video with your friends and do whatever else it is you do. Have fun at Warped!